So phenylpress tamhydrazide was probably the most impressive nootropic that I ever tried. It blew me away so much more than anything else I had ever tried. And now I'm super excited to be reviewing the original phenylpress tam. Is it still my favorite nootropic? Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little review on the original Tam. Now, I did order this nootropics bundle here, so um, I did not get the biggest serving of Tam. I only had 10 pills, but I've taken all 10 and I feel like I can do a pretty good review based on those 10 pills. So Tam is an interesting compound. Like I said in my intro, I had tried the hydrazide version. It was probably my favorite nootropic of all time. It blew me away. I felt great. But the more that I took it, the more balanced I felt. Like most nootropics and drugs are kind of like a tool. You use it for a specific thing, but it's not really something that you use all the time. It's not really something that's gonna like make you more healthy the more that you take it. But phenylpressetam hydrazide actually felt like it did that. I felt great, my mood was good. Um, I had great verbal fluency. I had great memory recall. And I felt great at least for the first hour while I was taking it. And I'm not gonna lie guys, this Tam is pretty much just as good. As far as my dosing here, I can handle a lot of Tam and Tam hydrazide. Uh, I could probably have four to five pills of these in a day. On the side here, they recommend taking one to two pills a day. Now, some people have a really strong reaction to Tam. Some people say it is just really strong, very awakening, and it's almost a little too strong at times. I never really get that with this supplement. I almost feel like I could handle almost an unlimited amount. I feel like I never feel overly stimulated. Things just flow. It puts me in a very normal, good mood, very a very comfortable headspace. Phenylprastam is actually supposed to widen some of the receptors in the brain, not only for dopamine, but multiple other receptors. And I'm not really sure if that means that it heals the receptors. That's what it feels like. A lot of other drugs can kind of zap receptors or kind of like abuse them to the point where your body will like shut off the receptors or do something negative to counteract the substance or whatever you're taking. But it seems like phenylprastam actually widens those receptors. So you're getting more activity from not only dopamine, but multiple neurotransmitters. The original Rastam is paracetam. So this is very, very similar to the original. And I think this is the only Rastam that focuses mostly or a lot on dopamine. I have read at some times that aniracetam can influence little bits of dopamine, but when you think of a dopamine dominant racetam, this is the one that you think of. So um, a real quick about cosmic nootropics where I ordered it, all this stuff, it looks like it's uh, written in Russian or some other language. So when you order this nootropics bundle, thankfully they send you a little pamphlet that shows you which nootropics are which, because otherwise, You'd be on Google for a little while trying to figure this out because I don't even know how to type in the Russian words on the back here, you know what I mean? So it looks like these come straight from Russia and I had looked at cosmic nootropics a little bit before and I was a little bit sketched. It seemed too good to be true. Like it's hard to get a hold of the original Tam. You can't almost get it anywhere. You go on this website, Cosmic Nootropics, and it looks like perfect, like too good to be true. And I'm not gonna lie guys, it's legit. Everything worked. I'm super impressed. And again, I got these samplers, so I would love to order a bigger batch of this stuff. And I said this in one of my other videos, but I was researching Tam before, and there was like an airline pilot who said, Phenylprastam is the great balancer. And that's exactly the way I would describe it as well. Like it has a little bit of a, a euphoric awakening effect when you first take it. I'm just left feeling better, more balanced. Everything feels just better. Like the more that I take it, the better everything is, which is unlike most nootropics and most stimulants and drugs, things like that. So anyways, guys, I really like this Tam. I'm glad that I have another nootropic site, this Cosmic Nootropics. They actually have lots and lots of stuff that I've never heard of that seems very interesting. A lot of stuff that's very similar to Phenobit and other things. And I'm actually really excited to try out all the other supplements that they have because most of them I haven't heard of. And now that I know that I trust the sites, 
I can go ahead and make some purchases. And some people get a lot of stimulation with this funnel press, Tam, so that might happen to you. So I would recommend starting off with maybe one pill just to see how it works for you. Um, it seems like maybe I'm a little bit weird in the sense that I can handle like lots of this stuff, almost unlimited. So that's probably just me. I don't want you to have a bad experience trying to take as much as I do. If this is one of the only stimulants that I could have a very, very high dose and I have only good effects. I absolutely fly through this stuff. And I think the best way for me to take it to avoid taking it too much would be to kind of have a day or two of balancing and then kind of get off or take some other nootropics and wait a little longer before I take it again. The original research I did on phenylprastam kind of indicated that it works the more that you take it. So if you take one dose one day, you're not gonna feel it that much, but if you take that same dose for four or five days, all of a sudden it will start feeling stronger. And that's the kind of the effect that I had before. So I'm always kind of looking to take phenylprastam for at least a week, probably up to two weeks. But because I fly through it and I had such a great experience on such a little amount, I probably will stick to like one to two days so I can get this super great effect, but then I also don't fly through it because I can handle so much of this stuff, like just unlimited amounts, it'd be crazy. But anyways, guys, I love Phenylprastam. I actually wanna retry the Phenylprastam Hydrazide version and see, kind of compare them. I haven't tried it in months and months and months, but from what I remember from Phenylprastam Hydrazide, this feels exactly the same. I love it. I can't recommend it enough. Anyways, guys, what nootropics are you trying? Have you tried Cosmic Nootropics? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.